All right, we are headed in. We are headed into the barn. You guys, winter is killing us. Like in winter, when it gets so cold you can't do anything, the only happiness you have is being able to get out and like go to the movies or hang out with friends or like, you know, like when winter is a lockdown in Canada, even without COVID, winter prevents you from doing so many amazing things. So now we have winter and a lockdown. It's like a double whammy. I know I'm complaining about it. I know that some of you guys have had it locked down for a lot longer than us. It's really sucking, sucking. Look at, Storm has an umbilical cord. Do you guys see it? Hey, he's really looking kinda, look, he's been sleeping in the dirt. Gabby, did you brush his legs? You have to brush his legs. Remember, Fiona told you it's what gets the the blood circulating. It is gorgeous out today, you guys. Wow. Look how gorgeous it is. Little Mr. Fussy Pants is fussy today. You might have to ride Finn today. <laughs> today is the day that the snow is falling down. This girl behind is uh, faster than the girl in the front. Fussy horses. I think he thinks he's got a different rider. He's like, who's this girl with the short hair? I don't like her. People always message me and say, oh, Laura, if I could ride any of your horses, I would ride Storm. And then some people want to ride Finn. And nobody ever wants to ride Penny. <laughs> But I want to know in the comments below, if you could come and ride our horses, what horse would you ride? So I heard a rumor that short-haired girls are braver. Fake. Fake? You think it's fake? <laughs> if it were true, I'd have short hair before you knew it. You already do have short hair. I know, my hair all fell out when I dyed it. know anything about riding and I come and I like because we're dying with our, our coaches okay okay Gabby tell her to lock her arms <laughs> anyway the girls are getting really frustrated with me and trying to tell them what to do and all I'm trying to tell them what to do is the stuff that I I, I don't know anything like so it's hard for them to listen to me Gabby's <laughs> he's like just stop it it's a lot of pressure to have somebody sitting here judging you and telling you what to do. Because our coaches are trained professionally to know how to say it in a way that's helpful. And my way is not always helpful. Yeah. Especially when you don't do it. You just have to sit there. She's like, stop judging! Yeah, see that's what's bad news. Brandon told her that he can't control his head bob. So now she thinks it's okay that no, she can't. I don't. I said I want to look at my head. And he said, oh, well, you can. My head bob oh, she said she wants to work on her head bob. And Brandon said you might never fix it because his head bobs too. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to stop judging. Pants. Stop judging, Miss Judgy Pants. I, I knew you. I didn't let him do that. Is it because the snow is on it? Yeah. There's snow on the pole. So I guess it's consistently, I guess we can consistently say the storm is a fixed horse. Like whatever Gabby learned when she, uh oh, did you kick that? Oh, perfect. Thank you. It's really hard not to judge. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not judging. I'm just trying to help. That is basically judging. That's not helping. It's not helping only because I, I don't ride Finn and I and don't know what to say. In, like, a bad way. I know. What if I said, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. Stop doing this. It would be hard because it would be confusing. I would need to offer some alternatives like Fiona does. And I'd say, okay, Sophia, when you're going over the jump, put your hands forward a little tiny bit so that he can move his head a bit better. Is that better? And I, Gabby can tell me it because. Because she knows more. Yeah, she, she's more experienced than me and you. Falling like crazy. But look how brave you are. See? Short hair makes you braver. It's because Finn's not spooking, but my heart's jumping every time. Storm's like, I do not like that sound. What the heck is happening? Finn's snow's gonna be falling, okay? Let him just let him take a minute to figure it out. Get ready. <laughs> We're going. Huh. Okay, it's okay. Let him take a minute. See, this is why you don't ride storm moments. It just takes him a minute. It always takes him a minute to figure things out. If we give him a minute, then he always figures it out, and then he's fine. Can you see all the snow falling? I, I told Finn before when I was walking him one lap that the snow might be falling today, so don't spook. Can you guys hear it? It's like snow. If you worry about the snow falling, he will worry about it. If you don't worry about it, he won't. I'm telling Finn the, the snow's falling, so he's prepared. Okay. Right, so it's not just like appearing out of nowhere. Then look, it's over there. Look at it. It's falling, okay? So don't spoon. If we spend the whole day waiting for the, all the ice to fall off the arena, we're never going to get any riding in. Like there's some big pieces that are about to fall. You see that big piece? Boy. Like it's insane. Storm. I didn't even see that piece. So I'm like. That's uh, that big piece is going to be falling. <laughs> 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 so Gabby's doing a smart thing. She's standing underneath that big. You moved at the wrong time. <laughs> you moved at the right time. Gabby's standing underneath this big piece. It's about to go. Look at it. It's, it's sliding. You guys see it? It's sliding down. Sliding down. <laughs> Storm's like, I hear it. It's falling. It's falling. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not gonna hurt you, Finn. Okay. I love my horse. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's over here in the safe zone, like, oh, my horse is not spooky. No, because, look, Finn, it's gonna fall. <laughs> Telling him before it falls, and it's also helpful when we just be chilling. We just be chilling, you guys. <laughs> oh, look, there's another big, huge piece that's gonna come. See how it just breaks off? See, there's like a, a lighter spot, and then the darker spot. See, and then see now, look how big the spot is now. It's about to go, you guys. See it. Can't believe I'm making a video of snow falling off the roof. <laughs> Most satisfying video ever. Oh, it might not fall. Yeah, no. Oh, here it goes. Oh, maybe we should just wrap up the ride because I don't think we're going to get any riding done. Maybe we should wrap it up. No, you are riding. You have to show them that it's okay. Finn. Like Gabby's doing with Fifth Storm. Finn's watching it. We're, we're all fast. See, look how big the space is now. Here it goes. Then Give the thing a. Okay. Here, it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Now that piece is coming. Now this piece is coming. And that piece over It's all coming. Oh my gosh. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> All right, get moving, girls. I'm safe now. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna tell you guys, like, go to some of 
<laughs> he's not moving. All right, be honest, you guys. Would you ride with an? Would you ride with an avalanche under an avalanche with your horse? Would you ride? Okay, maybe you would ride, but would you feel safe riding? Would you be brave? Good boy, Stormy boy. Good boy. <laughs> this is the bomb proofing lesson, says the girl and the horse five million miles away from the action. So one professional rider that I follow, she says that stop and praise is the best thing that you can do for your horse. So when your horse is being really good, stop and praise. It's the one thing that really, it's the one thing that actually, she says it's the one thing that actually teaches your horse. Oh, I think it's quiet now. All right, get moving, Finn. It's quiet now. <laughs> get walking. Come on, brave girl. Okay, we're gonna do a quick trot around. <laughs> She's racing the ice. I heard something. It's done. It was just a little piece. Well, I'm hearing stuff. Oh, that was a big one. <laughs> So Gabby's going around the corner and a big piece of ice fell. And she sat. She's like, I think I'll sit for this one. If you actually want me driving, trying to... There is no... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being safe, you guys. Sophie says that if we want her to ride, she... we have to ride in the morning from now on. not judging is that I want them to do well and I want them to do things the right way I don't like to see them making mistakes because I see Finn struggling because I see Finn struggling I see Finn doing things that Fiona talked about in the past but the thing is the truth is is that <laughs> She's just going around in circles. But the thing is, when you judge, like I was judging, like I'm judging. We have to be mindful of the fact that it's not easy to learn from someone telling us what to do or what not to do. There's a specific way that all people learn. There are about four different types of learning styles and everybody learns differently. So for, for them to figure out what I want them to know, I have to be able to teach them in the, in the style that they need to learn. And with riding, you guys know, with riding, you pretty much need somebody there, somebody to direct you, somebody that knows the horse and knows the kid. And so I need to get a zipper and zip my lip.
And there's a new piece. You guys see it? Yeah, it's stuck. Oh, there it goes. See it? Move in. It's all that big space now. There it goes. It's gonna hit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Look, some fell inside. I'm like, it didn't. Move. <laughs> I was in the line of fire. If that horse had come forward, it would have been for my legs. Gabby wants to ride Finn, so she wants Sophie to ride Storm. And she just walked over and told Sophie, oh, don't worry about Storm. He's, he's really good. He, he's hardly spooked. <laughs> no, I just don't make him... And then she said, just don't make him walk underneath the wall here. All right, we're doing the switcheroo. And the reason we're doing a switcheroo is because Sophie wants Finn to get a good ride in. And she doesn't want to ride him underneath all the sliding snow. And that's okay. It's always okay to admit when you need help with something. It's always okay to admit you're not there yet. One of the biggest thing in learning to love yourself is to realize your limitations. And we all got them, you guys. We all have limitations. Gabby, quick, tell me a limitation. My horse being lame. So yeah, her horse being lame is a limitation. But what's the limitation that you have? Like, you guys know I struggle with being a nervous person. I am a nervous person. Gabby, maybe do you struggle with being strong all the time? Like not being able to be vulnerable sometimes? Nope. Come on, everybody has limitations. Tell me a true limitation of your personality. I don't know. Comment below, guys. Tell me what one of your personal limitations is. Sophie, tell me a limitation. Oh, I know what it is. What? Feeling bad when I ride. Like feeling that my EQ looks you're insecure about your EQ? Mm -hmm. Gabby's limitation is that she feels insecure about her EQ. I bet you guys didn't know that about her. Don't jump on me, Storm. Don't jump on me. Okay, Gabby. Does that limitation, is it because you're afraid people are going to judge you or because, because you judge yourself? I'm not holding Storm. I say it in the middle. So she said that she holds high standards for herself and when she doesn't meet those standards that she feels bad about it. And that is a bad, that is a limitation. Because perfectionism is a myth, is a myth. It's a myth, you guys. God never intended for us to be perfect at anything. Perfectionism, people who feel like they have to be perfect, it's always based on insecurity, always. They don't want anybody to ever tell them that they're doing something wrong or that they're not doing something right because to a perfectionist, if they hear that, to them it makes them feel like inadequate and that's unfortunate. Wow, he's got wings, you guys. Fanny boy has got wings. that Gabby really likes to ride Finn is because this arena is really small and riding Chino in it is just absolutely really frustrating for her because she feels 
It's just too small for him. 